Today I'm going to show you how to draw a deer skull on a pumpkin. Um, you can carve this later if you want, but if you want to just draw one on there, this is, this is a good way to do it. First of all, you go to the internet and you find yourself a picture that you like that's free. Usually there's tons of things out there that are free. You could draw your own on a piece of paper if you wanted to, no problem. I know a lot of hunters are really into this kind of thing. Um, I teach at a high school where there's a lot of hunters. So um, you take this, this is a smaller version of this, but you're going to have this and you're going to print it out and cut it out. I sort of just cut it out so I wouldn't have any extra excess or anything like that. Then you're going to take um, some oil pastels. Um, you can get anywhere or something that's dark, like a crayon would work too, a crayon or oil pastel. And you're going to take the oil pastel and you're going to like rub the back of it with the oil pastel, which I've already done on this one, as I'll show you when I take it off. You just cover it thoroughly because this is going to really act as carbon paper for you. Remember the old carbon paper we used to use back in the day? Um, so after you get that covered, you're going to come over to your pumpkin and you're going to tape it on as smoothly as you can. This is, is loose a little bit because I need to show you what I've done. But um, I try to get it all laid down and I just use regular masking tape. And you know you've got to like work with it, fold it, cut little slits in it, mold it to the pumpkin because it's good to have it close to the pumpkin. So then basically you take a pencil or a ballpoint pen um, and you actually go over all of the lines, pressing pretty hard. Even if you go through the paper, it's okay because you want that design to transfer for you. So you're going to do that until you cover and go over the entire thing. And then when you take it off, you're going to see the image under there. It's not going to be quite this dark because I've actually done the last step on this one for purposes of speeding up the video a little. But as you can see, I went over it with that. And then I actually finished up by going over it with a Sharpie marker, permanent marker, and final product, how to draw a deer skull on a pumpkin.